Well, there it is. 2.2k Blood Runes, one Dragon Axe. My first ever Dragon Axe drop on 07. We're all here for the special fucking moment. Let's fucking get a goddamn Zerker ring, though. I gotta say, I do not like DKs at all. I find myself juggling my inventory so much. You gotta drop this and go ahead and, like, fucking do shit like this and put on Piety, because or else you're gonna hit shitty. And that, like, it's just... Ooh, nice shit right there. Anyways, I'm gonna finish up this trip. I've, I've been here for, yeah, basically the whole 2.2k Blood Runes cast, which is, I'm not too sure how long that takes to cast, but I've been here for a few hours, I think, about two or three. I have not drank a single brew dose. I drank about two or three peapots because, maybe four peapots actually, because uh, the major somehow got on me and it kind of fucked me over for a little while. I thought my trip was gonna end early because of that, but somehow it just randomly got off me. Maybe somebody came in the room or some shit, but yeah, now I'm good to go. Fuck. Another axe. This could have been two Zerker rings, man. I could have walked out of this bitch with 10 mil today and just be like, boom, 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 happy as shit. But um, yeah, closing up on 3,000 blood runes now. Use it just about 1 mil GP. So I basically am up 1 mil from uh, the one Dragon Axe, which isn't too bad, I guess. I've been here for a while, though, so I guess it's like a duo Armadil Helm in like two hours or some shit. Three hours. I don't know how I'm still here guys, but so far I've gotten about 140k mage experience. Um, I've looked up what my poisons, uh, my anti-poisons that you guys see that I'm using, the plus one. Um, it lasts for 518 seconds a dose, which is, I think that's close to 10 minutes a dose. I think I came in here with 8 of these full, uh, which means I think each one's just around almost 20 minutes. Is that 18 minutes? Let me see. Yeah, one potion is exactly 34 minutes and like... 30 seconds I guess so basically I've been here for 34 minutes per potion I've gone through seven of them so far so is that that's coming up on seven hours I mean not seven four hours isn't it holy sh so yeah just about 40 hours exactly I've been here I've, I'm still camping here this is fucking crazy I really don't want to leave until I get a zerker ring but it's just this is getting like repetitive but yeah, this is my first and final trip ever of doing DKs. I don't like this. This is not my type of thing, having to wait for it to spawn and fucking healing off these little minion things. I don't like this shit. Though I gotta say, if I got like two Zerk rings already, then I would definitely probably love this shit. But I'm not feeling these drops right now. I'm, I'm, I'm basically breaking even pretty soon. If I went room crafting for four hours, I would make like 4.5 mil or so. So basically, if I get a Zerk ring, it's like you break even. On the plus side, I've gotten about 10k prayer experience from burying the bones. Um, I didn't bury them at the starting, but I've been burying them for quite a while now. Obviously, that's about 100 kills on what's of these motherfuckers. Um, so yeah, just about 10k prayer, which is worth like how much? What's the GP XP? It's pretty close to one or two. I don't know. Not one or two. I mean, I mean like 10 or so, somewhere around there. I think almost like it's like seven or so. I'd say about 70k in fucking bone praying. I guess that's not too bad. It's saved about 70k worth of prayer experience. 100k for the ring. 100k for that, so that's 200k, uh, maybe that's like 50k, so that's 250, and I don't know, that pays for at least 1k bloods almost. You don't see me. Can't see this. Yes, that's right, walk away, bitch. Last dose of anti-poison. That's like four and a half hours, man. This shit is depressing. Oh shit, oh shit, don't touch me, don't touch me. Here it is, guys, last one. I'm, I'm fucking hungry as shit. I was supposed to eat my dinner when I got home. Oh, my anti-poison just kicked in, so yeah, definitely my last one. This is gonna be a Zerka ring right here. If God is here right now, man, I swear to God, give me a Zerka ring right now. Be with me today, man. We're gonna fire away the last hit just to see if it's lucky. Watch, I'm gonna start a trend now. Fire away the last few hits. Fucking get Zerka rings. Okay, fire wave. Boom. Oh, let's get the Zerka ring. No! Uh, there's like 10 hours of my life I'll never get back. I guess two axes isn't too bad. That's kind of disappointing though in like four and a half hours. No Zerka rings at all whatsoever. But um, yeah, definitely never returning to that piece of shit. My guthens even went down to 75. Ah, there goes my first Slayer task I've done in probably about a year by now. I did use the SGS as you guys can see for the Slayer task. I used my guthens once out of that entire task. Um, it, ah, crap. No, the worst part of 07 is right there. Getting random. Man, it's like when you want to do something and it just, you get a random. It's like a fucking cock block, man. You take off your clothes, she takes off her clothes, and then it's like you just get a random. It's like, nope, you gotta wait. That's the new name for randoms, alright? If you guys ever get a random, call it a cock block. It's not it's no longer called the random. This message has been approved by Alkin. I was not gonna lie to you guys. I thought I was gonna have some fun doing Slayer, but while I'm training Slayer, I'm just sitting here thinking about how much money my friends are making. I'd fucking got where it's done right now. I have two friends today that duo to hilt. 
Um, the other one duoed a hilt, and then they duoed like a tass. No, no, not tassid. And this, this is all armorable items, by the way, not like bandos, hilts, and things like that. It's kind of funny how cheap bandos is right now. I think bandos hilts like 14 mil or so. Just goes to show you guys how experienced we are in this game. Everyone knows that BGS is basically the shitty ass version of an AGS. I guess yeah, it lowers the player's defense, but that's only for PVP. And I don't really know how many people are gonna choose a BGS over. I might do this task. Are they updated yet where monk robes count as Sarah items? I don't really know if they haven't done that yet or not. Let me examine it. Maybe it just says Sarah Dome and something. Keep a monk's knees. Nice. Okay. Nope, I guess not yet. Hey, guys, I want to talk about something. I'm going to probably start my next video off with this, but um, in one of the Godward's Dungeon clans that I am in right now, I'm not going to really release the name of it. Um, just, you know, because it, at this point, you don't really need to um, be trusted in order to join it. Uh, but the higher your rank is in the clan, the more trusted you are because you've received loot and you split them. It's a pretty good system besides, you know, you can join uh, just by seeing I, uh, I like to split drops. Because it's kind of a little bit flawed right now. But anyways, there's a few people in the clan that have joined that are like a one banana rank, which is like just given to you at the starting. Um, and obviously once you get drops and you give it to, you get the splits, uh, your rank goes up. I right now am my bronze rank, I believe, which is like, I, it means I split 250 mil plus uh, in total, which is like, I've, I think I've split a total of three armadillo hilts and a few more things. But anyways, there's a few people on the blacklist there that have scammed things like armadillo hilts and bandos pieces, and there's like six or so people that have actually scammed armadillo hilts. Um, and I kind of put their name out there on blast because, I mean, that right now, I mean, you can't really prevent yourself from getting scammed unless you go friends. Uh, for like all the time, but that's sometimes not really possible. I'm hoping people don't get mad at me because I'm trying to go out of my way to help out other people. I am going to name the names of the people that have scammed people. I know sometimes Jags themselves don't like the name and shame, but you know what? If you're scamming people, you're definitely going to get named and shamed. See, I'm going to probably do at the start of the next video because it doesn't really make too much sense to do at the ending when there's like probably about half the people watching still. And I think a few of them have changed their names. That's one thing I've always hated about being able to change your name. You can scam someone, you can hack someone, you can you know lure someone. You can change your name and be someone completely different the next month or two. You know, if it if it sh if it doesn't show your last name known as um, as a scamming name, then you're basically off the hook. You have it's like you have a brand new account. No one knows you're a scammer. You can go scam again, and you know it, it's kind of annoying that way. That's why I hate name change so much. I mean, before it was like you scam someone and boom, your name's there, and you, you will never get you'll never be able to get off that list basically. But with being able to change your name, you can you know scam, change your name, scam, change your name. Just keep doing it without ever being known. So whenever I do mention the names, I want you guys to put them on the ignore list um, so you guys don't ever interfere with them. If they ever ask you to go arm with them, you wouldn't be able to read what the hell they're saying because they're on your ignore list. Let's see what an SGS spec is like here. Oh, we don't have the, oh yeah, I forgot. We don't have the fucking spec thing. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, I'm going to continue slaying a little bit and probably tonight uh, I might be selling my SGS and my Staff of Dead. That shit did not work out the way I wanted it to. I wanted to camp them for like at least 10 Zerker rings, make like fucking 50 mil. Uh, but it's just not worth it. That could take a long time, and that's only that's only valued at like a duo armadillo hilt. So I'd rather just go do armadillo for like a few days, get a dual armadillo hilt, instead of being at DKs for like a month and getting two or ten zerker rings. So yeah, I'm, I think I'm addicted to. It. I, I hate doing it, but I'm addicted to. It. Like I can't stop doing armadillo because it's just it's such good money. I've never made money that fast like by myself, obviously by just you know PVMing at least, um, aside from merching and things like that. And I can proudly say my bank is not, um, it's not from staking. I mean, a lot of people that are rich know me are because of staking. I can say I finally have earned all the cash and it's, it's quite a bit of cash at this point. But um, anyways, I'll see you guys probably next video with all kinds of gains. Maybe, just maybe some type of armadillo hilt at the start of the video. Wait, wait, no. First, first the names of people that scammed and then continue on with the armadillo loot. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed the progress. And uh, yeah, the whatever I was wearing for DKs is basically the max setup you can have, I believe. You could maybe substitute the Fury uh, with the third age amulet, like the mage amulet. I think it only costs like maybe 10, 20 mil. I don't really know about that. Completely random. It's kind of not really a needed item at all. But um, yeah, also the Fury does help with uh, using your Guthans and your Saragod Sword for all the healing purposes. Business, business. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next video. All kinds of games. D-boost in this bitch.